Hi you guys, another quick video on the Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 3. In this video I'm going to go through uh, the look and feel of AV8 launcher that's on the App Store now. It's in beta format, but uh, I'll give you a rough idea how it looks now it's uh, used. So we'll quickly get into the demo. As you can see at the moment we're on the standard uh, TouchWiz interface. we we'll press the home button and we'll go into AV8. And we'll click just once. And you can see straight away when we get into AV8 on the... Uh, pull out panel on the left hand side you've got different settings here so you've got time work settings going somewhere home and nearby places and basically we've got three main screens so on the home screen home screen you've got a, an aggregated calendar that links to uh, wherever you default it to I've got it linked to S calendar and you've got some frequently used uh, widgets along the bottom you've got your camera different ones and you can change these around however you want uh, and you can obviously go to uh, different settings from this. Let's get back out of this. Uh, that was basically telling you a bit about AV8. There's a symbol down there for that. Uh, you've got a drip, drop down menu at the top. So when you're on your home screen, you can set different uh, things in this folder. So you can have uh, different things that you want. And this will uh, dim the rest of the screen out when you uh, drop it down. So if you uh, bring it back up again, you can see that the rest of the screen is faded out while you look at uh, this particular window. And obviously you can add uh, different things in on the new button. Uh, so that pretty much is a drop down menu on the first screen and then you can go to different settings you can go to work and same thing again you get a drop back down menu of different things you're using uh, for work so there's a big uh, list of things and again you can add different things to it you can minimize that window and you can uh, minimize the whole thing so you've got work along the top and what tends to happen with all these windows is feeds tend to come in and it's supposed to change how you use it throughout the day so if you had an agenda or something in your work calendar that would pop down and show you it was actually uh, working at that time uh, if you've got it set to uh, time at night time this changes into a night mode and it tells you it's night time and the alarm feature comes up in this window so you can set an alarm ready for night time so it actually it's supposed to work something similar to Google now so it and interprets what you're doing at any time of the day and is supposed to uh, give you relevant feeds for that time of the day uh, the final one on here you've got some uh, going somewhere so that same uh, similar sort of thing you can get directions you get a pop down menu that drops down for all sorts of things like radar droid and maps and different things and uh, translator uh, nearby on food get directions etc you can close that totally and get back to the uh, main screen and again at the top it just basically shows you what sort of window you're in so you're in the going somewhere window uh, you can go to home uh, you can nearby places and it'll tell you what's nearby museums all the rest of it so there's a few uh, features from there but you'd have to keep swapping in and out so basically most people would probably have it set on time and that would be the home setting so you'd have the date and time at the top uh, maybe a calendar in this window and actually within this window you can change the widget to whatever you want in this window I've just put this uh, calendar widget in there at the moment it comes as default with a picture so we can go back out of that the second screen across you basically have a screen of folders and they're aggregated in a slightly different way than you would have normal folders where you would have them stacked on top of each other or side by side uh, so these are aggregated and you can obviously uh, edit these and you can show all folders, all collections at the bottom. So you can add different collections into these folders. I've just got a few ticks you can see with the little eye symbol. So if you tick other ones, you can actually have different folders going. So you can go OK. And what happens in these folders, they work pretty much the same as a standard folder on Android, except that you can see all your folders in row view with a drop down. So you click on the drop down and that will open up the folder view. And then you can still scroll down to the rest of the folders with that uh, maximized. Uh, again you can minimize it and you can go to your work folder and that would have all your work icons in that folder that you'd use uh, generally for work and you can you could basically have them all open uh, or you can have them all minimized so you can have them open so you can scroll through them but basically then you're getting back to a sort of app drawer sort of situation uh, same again I said you can show all collections at the bottom and add to it next screen across is basically your app drawer that you would have your standard app drawer button and this basically has all your apps listed in alphabetical order down the side and listed from uh, A to Z uh, so you can go through one two there you can see and you've got everything listed under A everything listed under B and quite easy if you know what your uh, application is called you can quickly go from the side menu you can click on uh, any of these to go directly into it uh, wherever you want to be or you can actually scroll down through the windows so quite a basic uh, sort of launcher theme for someone who uh, wanted something simple and didn't want to be uh, too confused by a lot of the early setup on uh, Android. Uh, I mean, what I tend to do on all my Android devices is get them clear all the screens and start from scratch. 
all this uh, all these widgets that are placed there by the uh, vendor, whether it's uh, HTC or Samsung, I tend to get rid of straight away and make it how I want to do it. Uh, but if you're, you're a bit overwhelmed and you come from something like iOS, certainly something like this that puts everything on the screen straight away and you can, uh, you can change it at your le leisure might be uh, worth looking at. Uh, if we go into settings, there's a few other settings. There's not many settings you can change around. You can change it to, you can, you've got power saving mode so you can get to your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi and all your, your rest of it there. You can turn them on and off. Uh, <laughs> not so easy uh, to turn back on there we go we're back on again so you can change all them around you've got a light or a dark theme or on the light at the moment change it to the dark, dark theme and you can have a look basically the dark theme uh, you'd probably use at night time when you want one it's so bright uh, so all in all it's pretty much the same as a light theme just a different background uh, and you've got all sorts of things you can still actually get to uh, my magazine and things and your Samsung uh, applications that you would normally do uh, through your app drawer so my magazine would come under N and now my magazine has actually got a widget there because you're not using it from swiping up from the bottom of the screen uh, so my magazine uh, do not show that again hang on uh, try again uh, do not show again and go OK and you can see my magazine aggregates as normal anyway there we are that's uh, the launcher uh, AV8 and uh, we'll go back to uh, TouchWiz and just go once and uh, you can check out how uh, TouchWiz looks in comparison. Anyway, if this video has been a help to you and you like it, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, I'll get more videos out in the near future. Thanks for watching this video.